Hello everybody, my name is Epic White Wolf and welcome to Robocraft. I don't think I'm gonna be doing like a what did I just delete there? I hate it when I accidentally right click and then I have no idea what block I just removed. But anyway, I don't think I'm gonna be doing a let's play or anything on Robocraft just because a lot of it can be really grindy. So I'll just do like a video here and there just to kind of show you what kind of robots I have add in some of the gameplay and you know just tell you about the game if you don't already know about it um first thing you'll see here is that you can build a robot obviously and it's made out of uh, many different shaped cubes and I've just kind of messed this up yeah. I'm so used to Minecraft where left click is break and right click is place, but it's the opposite in this game. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. Anyway, this is a medic bot. These are um, nano, nano disruptors. Yeah, and they they deal damage to enemies, but it's very low. But your accuracy is like pinpoint. You just have really short range. You can also heal your enemies, or he heal your allies with them, not your enemies. But, um, yeah, this is my setup. It's pretty good, it works for me. I am just barely... If you look down here at the bottom, I am just barely tier 9, because the tier 9 is highlighted, even though it looks like I'm still in tier 8. But it's because of these thrusters. If I take these off, I go back to tier 8. I want to be in tier 9 because I want to get some tier 9 tech points and you use tech points to unlock different um, different parts in the tech tree. And right now I've got pretty much everything that's tier 8 unlocked. There's some new things that they added after I joined and so as I progressed through the tiers I didn't like have enough tech points for those tiers to unlock the the older or the the weaker versions of those parts there's um there's a few different type of battle modes there's practice where you're just by yourself with a bunch of AI bots they're really weak compared to higher tiers so and then there's regular battles which is a match between like 10 or 20 maybe I think it's just 10 of each uh, of that tier so you'll be entered in a tier 8 battle if you're a tier 8 robot and you can have a uh, separate tiered robots you actually have three garage slots to start off with I had a plasma bomber but I didn't really like how it controlled so I I disassembled it and then I have my medic bot and then I have my SMG tank with tracks. Super slow, but pretty pretty beast when it comes to taking damage and dealing damage. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna play with my uh, my tier 9 medic bot. Um, I could kind of explain to you all the different parts. I guess I will. I already explained the nano thru or the nano disruptors. These are thrusters. They make you go faster, and they're a these ones are really powerful. So they get me up to tier nine, but they're a little too powerful. So when I try to turn, it flips me over. So I added some downward thrusters, so I, I keep I can like stick myself to the ground and then turn, and it won't it won't flip me over, which is nice. These are. Um, Shields? Is that what they're, they're just called? Shields or no? They're called electroplates, but they're basically shields. They uh, they have a certain amount of uh, armor. They have 814 armor, but uh, the reason why they're really good to have is because if they get hit, they have like a a certain amount of damage that they can take at a time, and then if it doesn't take damage for a little bit it'll actually regenerate the shield so it's possible to b 
be hit and not actually take any damage for a whole round, which is very unlikely, but still, they're really useful. Um, this is a radar. It shows, it allows, uh, it detects enemies and shows them on your mini map. Uh, tucked back in there, this round thing right here is a uh, radar jammer, which makes it so that you don't show up as often on enemy radars. You still show up like a little blip here and there, but eh, I think it's worth having it. And this is a radar receiver, so you can actually pick up enemies that your allies' radars are picking up. This is your pilot seat. You have to have just one, and you can't have any more, but you have to have one on every bot because you have to be able to pilot it. These are wheels, obviously, but uh, these front ones, that uh, that angle thing there shows you that it's a turning wheel. These are just forward movement wheels. They don't turn, they just push. Um, anything else? I think that's about it. And then these are the armor cubes, which are the basic building block. But uh, yeah, anyway, enough telling you what my robot's made of. I'm going to go ahead and enter a battle. Now, they've updated it quite a bit since I started playing. Um, like I said, I don't think it's too good of a game to do a series on, like, every day, because it's... I'd just be doing the same thing. I'd just enter a battle, gain RP, and then try to upgrade my robot. That's about it. But there's some pretty cool things you can do. It's a fun game just to play in your spare time. You can buy premium, which allows you to gain RP faster, but eh, it doesn't really give you like an advantage in the battlefield because as you upgrade your robot, you're put in uh, battles with tougher robots. So it's there's no uh, tactical advantage. It just allows you to pro to progress faster, which is nice. You can also purchase Galaxy Cash, which allows you to buy parts and stuff like that, but it costs real money. So again, it's just, you know, increasing the rate at which you progress doesn't give you any real advantages. The only advantage you have, really, is the way you play and how you use your robot, and how you built your robot. Because if you just throw a bunch of blocks together and don't worry about how it actually moves, you're going to have a lot of problems. I'm not really f focusing on trying to win, which kind of, like, usually it's a really good idea to stick, stick together. Oh god. No, why do they always go after the medic first? Fuck this, I'm out. I'm out. It's a good idea to stick with a medic because then you can heal each other. And then you can heal the other robots around you. Uh, so far, two down on each team. Which isn't looking too great. Hey, get over here. Let me heal you. Oh god. Oh boy, plasma bomber. That's not good. Please don't murder my face. Oh god. Alright. I'm sorry, I have to leave you. Probably gonna die anyway. Yep, and he's dead. <laughs> Oh god. Okay, I'm letting up on the downward thrust so I can maybe move faster. Ouch. No. Took out all of my primary wheels. Help me. Help. There's no voice chat in the game either, so that's kind of a bummer. And I don't have any wheels. Just thrusters. These goddamn plasma bombers. Yeah, this this round up. 
this round isn't looking too good for my team. You're an ass. Nah, he's not an ass. He's just playing the game. I mean, I'd be cheering him on if he was on my team, so... Anyway, you don't have to sit there and spectate the whole game. You can just leave. Which is nice, because I would hate to have to sit there and wait. But, actually, if you die and your team wins, you'll get a hero bonus. I think this was from a previous round that I just played. Yeah. And your robot automatically repairs. It used to cost RP, but they just had to take that out, and now it's just like a quick little fix thing. I don't even know why they kept the little, like, repair thing. You just have it automatically repaired as you have, like, when you come back, it'll just be repaired, basically. Um, I'd like to win a match on camera, just to, you know, win a match on camera for the sake of winning a match on camera. Just enter another battle. Did I finish talking about the other battles? I don't think I did. Challenges, as you can see here, four high tier versus twelve lower tier, and then there's a mega boss uh, battle, and that's where you have to be like you have to have a really big robot and a mega seat and all this, and then it's just you against a full team of robots. I don't know how much that is. Probably like 20. But that sounds pretty cool. Anyway. I could join a challenge match. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Just to show you guys. So it'll put you on a team with three others. So there's four of you, as you can see. And then there's 12 tier 5s. Maybe 12 is a full team. Um, well this is good. None of us are flyers, so I can heal everybody. Telling me to stay in. I'm going to try to heal everybody, dude. I'm not just going to pocket you. You're funny. SMG hover spotted. I don't like people like that. I ain't yo bitch. Yeah, and look at that. First one to die. Because he decided to charge right into battle. Paid the consequences for it. Sorry if I'm being a little quiet. These matches can be a little stressful. I mean, yeah, they're only tier fives, but there's 12 of them against four of us. This isn't looking too great. Mainly because I only have a couple of nano disruptors left. <laughs> Look at that. Perfect split. No! Split! Shoot him! God damn. I am doing my best to keep you guys healed. And you are just not doing a good job of keeping me alive. And I'm, I'm all out of fucking. God damn it! I hate this. People will just go charging in like, oh, I can do this by myself, right? They're only tier fives, and they're capping our base, which is great.
I could try capping theirs, but I don't know how well that's gonna work. Especially now because somebody sees me and we're just, you know, hanging out over here and they're capping our base. So, that's great. I'm gonna go ahead and spectate just to see how this works out. It's, it's not going to. We're definitely gonna lose because they're gonna cap our base. And we can't even cap theirs, so. Good job, guys. Good job. We had like four of them left. We could have easily taken on four of them. Ugh, that's kind of annoying, but eh. The one thing that sucks is that there is a cooldown of four hours, which is great. But now I'm gonna try, I'm gonna show you guys my um, SMG tank. So these are tank tracks, as you can blatantly see, and they have a lot more armor than wheels do, so they last a bit longer. Other than that, there's no real different parts besides the SMGs, but they're just faster firing. Plasmas take a lot longer to shoot, but they do a lot more damage. These are a constant rate, so. Anyway, go ahead and enter a battle again. I was gonna record earlier, but their servers were down. But looks like they fixed it. You can tell their servers are down when you see like two, three hundred players waiting to join. Oh, nice. We have one medic, they have no medics. Usually it's nice to have, like, at least two medics, because then they can heal each other and make sure they have all of their nano disruptors. A really good strategy for this game, though, is to stick together. Otherwise, if you run into a group of enemies all by yourself, you're kind of done for. The only thing I really don't like about... My SMG tank is it's so slow. Doesn't flip though. Ever. Unless I lose all my um, tank tracks because they weigh like a shit ton. A metric shit ton. Let's see what I can do. Watch out, dude. You need it plasmid. Hopefully I don't get plasmid as I'm driving across here. And you can, uh, if you see an enemy and you have your cursor over them and you press Q, it'll spot them. Well, that's not a good sign. Someone's calling hacks. Hey! Hey! Watch yourself. Yeah, it kind of sucks with this because I don't. Yo, healer, a hacker got me. I need to be healed. Cool. Can't just run to your aid. Oh god, I can't turn. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage. <laughs> this kind of sucks. Oh jeez, what's going on? I think I was trying to turn and it was like, no, I don't have more than one. Oh, this is bad. And I'm dead. Kinda makes me sad. That's why I like playing the medic, because... I don't know if that guy's just being a baby, or if there actually is a hacker. It doesn't really look like there's a hacker. What's his name? Tuto. I think he died. Yeah.
Wow, everybody's fucking yelling at the medic. That's really dumb. There's only... He's the only medic. You know what? Can't type everyone else in STFU. Assholes. I hate that. They're like, heal me, medic, heal me, pocket me, blah, blah. It's like, shut up. I'm trying to do the best I can at keeping our whole team alive. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to medic. Well, I don't know. I think I'm gonna play one more round, at least with. I don't even know how long this video is right now. But I'll do one more as this guy. Depending on if I win or lose, I might end the episode after this round. I wonder if there's anything else that I could have explained a little bit more. Um, there's a bunch of different types, like this guy. He's got walker legs, which are really awesome. You can walk straight up walls. Um, apparently also has some form of flying movement, because that's the little arrow or the little line above the medic symbol, that means they're flying. If it's below it, that means they're ground unit. See, like that. The circle means plasma, and then the line under it means ground. X means SMG. So ground SMG, ground SMG, ground sniper, ground medic, even though he's hovering. It's still technically ground because you can't fly. That or he was just jumping. I'm not sure. Um, sometimes you'll see this little half circle. And I'm not entirely sure what that means. It has something to do with these things, these plasma Tesla coil things. I don't know, but they explode on impact when they touch an enemy lot. Come on, Ty. There we go. Hey, leveled up. Great. Hey, piss off. Get out of here. Medics, please. I need help. Wow, they take... I'm in pretty good health besides my turrets. Oh yeah, and if you right-click, you can kind of zoom in. It's mostly useful for the sniper, though. I should probably make a rail. Oh god, I don't have any weapons. Good. Poor medic. Yeah, the problem with like certain medic uh, I don't have any weapons, there's nothing I can do. I'll guard you with my body. And he went around. Yeah, I think we're a little screwed. Alright, I'll do one more round, but I'll go medic again, because there needs to be more medics. And it used to be it would just add a bunch of random people to a, a match and it wouldn't like balance out like what bots each team had. But now they they try to balance it out a little bit better and it's really nice actually. But I guess just not enough people are playing medic on tier 9. Which really sucks. Oh god, no, I don't... Oh, I don't want to play ranked match, but I will anyway. You are entered for a ranked match. Your score will be saved on the scoreboards and nobody cares. Except for... Scrubs. Okay, is it just me or does nobody play Medic on Tier 9? Is there a reason for this? I probably really need to upgrade my, um... My nano disruptors. Blech. Tier 9 stuff is so expensive, though. It's so bad. Like, 
everything doubles in price as you go up tiers, and it doesn't feel like you earn twice as much RP to balance it out. I've been on tier 8 for like ever. Where's everyone going? Because I want to go with everyone. What the fuck was that sound? This way? That's where the snipers are going. I don't really want to go with the snipers, even though apparently they're kind of OP. I'd rather stick with, like, SMGs or plasmas. Mainly SMGs, because they can continually deal damage. I'm just holding down the shift key so I don't, like, SMG fall over or anything. It makes my, uh... My vehicle a lot more controllable. And it just barely gets me into tier 9. Hopefully I can earn enough tier 9 tech points to unlock the better nano thrusters. Or nano thrusters? Nano disruptors. Oh god. I really don't want to get hit because I'm the only medic. And once I start losing nano disruptors, I become more and more useless. Hey. Oh, Jesus. And there goes my turning wheels. RIP turning. Okay, yeah, there's a guy right over there who's focused me because I'm the medic. They should give you, like, a a slight bonus for being just barely in tier 9, or in the next tier, because it is really hard starting out. I think I have enough. No, probably not. Well, I'll check anyway. Nano Disruptors tier 9. 78 tier 9 tech points. I'm at 54. I could try to grind it out in this video, but I don't want this video to be so long that it takes three years to upload. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. I'll do another episode, and I'll show off, like, the tier 9 nano disruptors next time. I'll just grind it out, you know, off camera. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, click the like button. And have a great day. See you later.